From terrifying clashes to narrow escapes, these tales will keep you on the edge of your seat. Get ready to witness the untamed power of nature in 12 Bear Encounters Gone Horribly Wrong. Number 12. A couple of dirt bike riders in the lush forests of Compiègne in the Haut de France region of Paris have their world turned upside down when they come up close and personal with this vicious mammal. One of the dirt bikes stops in the middle of its course when it hits a tree. Out of the woods, an unwelcome guest pays them a visit and does what nightmares are made of. Before anything else goes downhill, the other driver revs his dirt bike so loudly that the bear has no choice but to flee. Fortunately, they both survive to tell the tale of how they narrowly avoided becoming bear food. Number 11. An unwelcome beast arrives with an offer they cannot refuse, disrupting a peaceful French countryside day. The police rush to the scene and are horrified to find they are unprepared for their opponent. The authorities are on foot and have no chance against the grizzly bear. The video then cuts off at that point, and to this day we still do not have any answers as to how the situation may have come to a close for the police. Number 10. In the Russian forest, a bird hunter discovers that he has taken on a more difficult challenge than he initially bargained for. When the hunter hears a crunch behind him, he quickly gets on his stomach and aims his gun in the direction of the sound. What emerges from the bushes is a sight that has nothing to do with birds at all. The hunter aims carefully and tries to frighten the equally bewildered bear away. The animal does so, retreating back into the dense forest, leaving the bird hunter gasping for air. Number 9. On his hike through Shikoku Forest, an unwary traveler learns firsthand about the forest's splendor and peril. Tatsuhiko, the hiker, sees a group of bears playing in the trees almost immediately on his trek. It was a surprise to him to learn that he was not the only one who thought the experience was extraordinary. Tatsuhiko moves away from the Japanese black bears in a hurry, which is enough to make the cubs lose interest in the fact that he's there. Number 8. A man in Hokkaido is taken aback when he spots something other than fish swimming in the raging Teshio River. Naoi, the man recording, had the idea that today would be a good day to go fishing, but he was immediately halted in his tracks when he laid eyes on something that was significantly larger than he was. <laughs> Crossing the river, the beast came from five meters away and stared at Naoi with hostility. Naoi reached into his pocket and pulled out his bear spray, hoping it would be enough to ward off the approaching bear just to see it retreat back into the dense forest. Number seven. When one of nature's forces attacked Masayuki Matsuyama, he was fishing in the upper reaches of the Kanagawa River in Misaka-cho, Fuifuki City, Japan. As Matsuyama walked up and down the river looking for a better catch, he came across a great spot, but he was briefly stopped. <laughs> Look 
As he roared back to the animal, he confirmed that it was the Usuri brown bear that attacked him and kicked it on the snout. Matsuyama yelled twice and the ferocious bear retreated into the woods, being driven off. Thus, Matsuyama managed to escape and tell his story. Number 6. A man on a routine bike ride in the forests of the Boreal Forest region is jolted to his core when he encounters an opponent who can keep up with him. As he traces his usual spots for a chill bike ride, the man in the footage, named Gregor, encounters another forest enthusiast, a grizzly bear. He started to cycle so fast, as if he were lightning. As he makes a swift move to check his back, the beast almost catches up on him. As he approaches the crossroads, hunters in the distance notice that a bear is pursuing him and fire a few shots to frighten it off. As much as Gregor was relieved, the incident served as a cautionary tale for when he ventured out again. Number 5. A family relaxing by California's Lake McClure is rudely awakened from a nap when a hungry and curious creature wanders up to their campsite. David Kessler and his family are startled when they notice an interesting encounter with a grizzly bear. Oh. That's the fishing line. No, there's nothing there. He sniffed around as if to see if there was anything that might pique the interest of his taste buds. Realizing there is nothing he likes, the animal struts away. David's family was smart enough to devour the steaks as soon as they came off the grill. What a fortunate story. Number 4. A local fisherman in Mammoth Lakes, California, receives a visitor so bizarre that he thinks he is imagining things. Jim and his friend are utilizing the day going fishing by the lake when, as they wait for a catch, a massive bear emerges from the surrounding forest. Now look at here, Mr. Bear coming my way. Oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? It's a bear. The mammal puts on a show in front of them and parades as they are on the edge of their camping chairs. Mr. Bear, what are you going to do, Mr. Bear? Oh my gosh, look at here. Mr. Bear is right here. The animal, sensing that it has nothing in common with the humans, jogs off without so much as a backward glance. A fortunate day to go fishing indeed, if you ask Jim. Number three. When a hiker meets in person with a full-grown grizzly bear, it comes as quite a surprise to him. In the California wilderness, a hiker came face to face with a mountain bear. They stared each other down as the man adjusted his breathing so as not to frighten the animal. Don't come towards us. I don't want to use my bear spray. As the man braces himself to use his bear spray, the bear gives off rather improbable signals. Keep going. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Keep going. <clears throat> That's a good boy. Look at you go. It was as if the bear just had too much to eat that afternoon and walked around the man fleeing the scene. Number two. A rather interesting encounter happened to a man near Churchill, Canada, who was visited by a very intrigued polar bear. As Jerry checks on his truck to go out for an errand, he is surprised to see an unusual sight under the vehicle. He then engages in a face-off with the polar bear, looking all doe-eyed and mesmerized at Jerry.
Jerry should count himself lucky because the bear that paid him a visit was merely an inquisitive specimen and not a dangerous one. Number 1. Albin and his fellow glamping companions are shocked when a lurker ruins their peaceful evening off Road Park in West Virginia. As the group chills around the camp, even before they get a chance to make a fire, they find themselves in the presence of a lurking bear. Really name him Frankie? Yeah, look, he's got a butt. That's, uh... He's got hair on his butt. Is he, is he gonna try to sneak up on us? The out-of-the-ordinary bear goes sniffing around the group's truck. They follow it and catch it near the camp table and fix its attention on one certain thing on it. Can't handle that bear, dude. Look at this guy. Yep, he's in your bag, Matt. Dude, he's cracked. Alvin and the rest of the group watch the bear as it rummages through their provisions. They were lucky this time to come up with a relaxed creature. 